Hey everyone, welcome back to the Iowa Homeschool Mom channel. Today we have a homeschool haul to share with you. And for this homeschool haul, you'll find a lot of the materials are going to be directed towards our two themes coming up. So our first theme we actually just started is bugs and insects. And we're actually raising caterpillars um, that will turn into painted lady butterflies to jumpstart that unit. And then later in the spring slash early summer, we're going to be moving on to ponds. We also have some just general homeschool material in here as well. And for this haul, we've made purchases from four different places. So we're trying out Nature Watch for the first time. And then I got some printables off of Etsy. And then I also made some purchases from Amazon as well as Osborne. All right, so let's just get going and show you guys what we got. All right guys, so we're gonna start with Nature Watch. Again, this is our first time ordering from this company and I'm very excited so far. On the top, we just have this little butterfly, butterfly finger puppet. And this is gonna be great for storytelling with my kids. They're pretty young, so I think that they will love this. There's that. And this next thing I am super excited about, you guys. Now, this is an acrylic um, acrylic set of the life cycle of a cabbage butterfly. And it is just absolutely beautiful. How nice is that? And I did splurge a little bit on this, but... Honestly, this is something I would just have for myself, but I think this will be a great resource for many years. So, just wonderfully made, guys. Super excited. Okay, then we also have some insects rubbing plates. Um, these are kind of like the leaf ones that you guys get. So, you basically put them under a piece of paper and then use a crayon to rub on top. And then you make fun little insects. So this will be an easy and fun art project for the kids. Um remember how many it came with 16 so yeah I think we're gonna be doing this today actually there's those okay. and then the last thing we have from nature watch is this um, Melissa and Doug 24 piece floor puzzle um, all about bugs so um, puzzles are great for logic as well as fine motor and then you can also just learn many things um, with by using puzzles so we're gonna be doing our bug puzzle this week alright you guys next we have our Etsy purchases and I got all of these printables from Green Urban Mama Creative and she does such amazing work guys her illustrations are just gorgeous so the first one we have is um, a butterfly anatomy sheet. And then with that download, it also had some letter recognition. And then it also had some tracing work as well. And then the next one we got, again from her shop, is the anatomy of a frog. And then that one also came with some tracing work and letter recognition as well. And you could do some spelling. And then the last one we got was the tree frog life cycle. Just, these are just so beautiful, you guys. She does such amazing work. I think these are going to be an amazing resource for us. Yeah, and she just offers quite a variety as well. So, yep, yeah, I'll link her shop in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out. 
And this one also came with um, just like a little fact sheet. All right, guys, now we're moving on to some of our Amazon purchases. All right, so in this box, we have a ton of books. Uh, the first one is called Making Peg Dolls, and we've been starting to make some of our own peg dolls, so I thought this would be a really handy resource for us. Uh, we've made some Days of the Week gnomes as well as a birthday gnome. Uh, we also made a Jesus peg doll for Easter. So yeah, I'm really excited to get some more ideas from this book. Little baby chicks. and How cute is that? So yeah, super excited to try some of these out. Alright, and then we have some books for our bugs and insects unit. Uh, the first one is A Butterfly is Patient. And we are big fans of all of the books um, by this author and illustrator. Um, this one we actually checked out from our library last year and we just liked it so much I decided to go ahead and buy it this year. It's another wonderfully illustrated resource and it's filled with facts about different species of butterflies. And then it also covers the butterfly life cycle at the end and monarch migration. And then I really love this this last page here. A bunch of different species of butterflies. So just so beautiful. There's that book. And then we just have a Dr. Seuss book, My Oh My, A Butterfly, which Dr. Seuss books can be a hit or miss, but this one had really good reviews. So I'm excited to try it out with the kids and see what we can learn about butterflies. And then we have a classic uh, nursery rhyme, The Ants Go Marching. So if the ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. So this will be a really fun book to sing with the kids. And then we have the Backyard Bug Book for Kids. And this one is filled with information at the beginning and a fun little story. And then at the end... here it has a bunch of different activities for the kids so they have some tracing work and then some matching to the silhouette or shadow put an X on the ones that are not insects so they'll learn how to identify an insect um, some pattern work complete the pattern count the spots maze so yep, the back of the book is filled with activities. And my child, she, my preschooler, she really loves worksheets, so she'll really enjoy this book. And then this book I am really super excited about, called Insect Detective, and it looks gorgeous. And the story looks very well written as well. It looks really catchy, like something you would want to read over and over again. But it's also filled with um, information as well. Yeah, I'm really excited to read this one with the kids. All right, and then the last one of our Bugs and Insects books are Are You a Dragonfly? And I thought this one would be a really good one to kind of switch over into our ponds unit. And this is another one with beautiful illustrations. And it kind of covers the life cycle of a dragonfly. 
and just different characteristics about them. All right. And the next set of books is our pond books. All right, so the first one on top is actually a coloring book um, by Scholastic who lives in the pond, but there's also um, some words in here as well. And I actually thought this was like an actual book, but I must have read wrong, slash I didn't read it. <laughs> so I'll have to just be more careful to actually read the description better next time. But my kids will have fun coloring it anyways. All right. And this is another book I'm super excited about, Butternut Hollow Pond. And you basically learn all about the different um, species that live in a pond. And you follow the pond from daybreak um, to sun sundown. Learning about all the different species. Again, another one with very gorgeous illustrations. And then the next one is a one small square book and it's about ponds and this one it does have really beautiful illustrations however it has a lot more written text than I thought it would um, so it might not be the best book for my children's ages but we will just try it out and kind of use it as a reference book and I'll just let my kids point to something and I'll just read a little bit from each page. So we're going to try this one out anyways. But it looks like a really good resource. Right. And then we have in the small, small, in the small, small pond. <laughs> and this one I think will be really good for my toddler. So it doesn't have very many words. So he should be able to sit all the way through it. Yep, there's that one. And then our last one is Over and Under in the Pond. And if you guys have read Over Above and Under the Garden, I think, is the title for that one. Um, this, this one's just like that, but with ponds, so... Another great twaddle-free book. So this is another one I'm pretty excited about. Alright guys, moving on to our next Amazon box. Um, so the first thing we have here, we actually already opened for the kids. Um, and these are just some little butterfly wings that they can wear. My kids love dressing up into different costumes, so I thought these would be a big hit with them. And since we're growing slash raising butterflies right now, I thought they would be a good fit. So I got yellow for my son and then orange for my daughter. Yellow is my son's favorite color. Next thing we have is this big book of animal devotions. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be a little above my children's levels, but we're going to try it. Um, and I really love this book. My kids are big animal lovers. Um, so this one teaches children about God's creation while using different animals to illustrate a different character development lesson from the Bible. And then each one contains a scripture verse. And then some discussion questions and then like a little synopsis of your takeaway message. So there's lots of different ones about bugs. So we're going to use that for our bugs and then hopefully find some pond animals in here as well for our pond unit. And then we have a little Safari LTD um, frog life cycle. And we love Safari LTD resources. You can use them for so many different things. 
Uh, you can do like little matching activities. Um, the order of the life cycle. You can also make sensory bins. And they're just really nicely made. All right, and then we have another frog life cycle resource. This is a puzzle. And we actually have a butterfly one just like this from the same company that goes over the butterfly life cycle. So it's a layered puzzle that teaches them the life cycle of the frog. All right, open it for you guys. I'll just kind of show you guys. So it's a very nice wooden puzzle. The last thing we got was another puzzle. And this one is for my toddler. So my preschooler used to love these as well. Um, they've became a little too easy for her, but she still does them from time to time. Yep, just like a little peg puzzle. Alright guys, so the last box is from Osborne. And on top, we have a fingerprint activity book that was all about bugs. So they're going to be creating bugs using their fingerprints. They have fireflies, grasshoppers, the wings of butterflies, the eyes of praying mantis, ladybug spots. Yeah. I think this is going to be a ton of fun for the kids. All right. And then we have some more activity books. These ones, uh, I just have one for my son, one for my daughter. And these are magic painting books. So they're going to be painting with water. And this will be a nice mess-free activity for um, when mommy just needs some downtime. there's that and then we also just got a pawns book um, and this will be a great resource for when we're starting to read as well it's a great early learning early reader book all right guys so lastly we just have some nature books and the plan for these is to rotate them um, through our morning basket throughout the next couple months so the first one is Osborne little children's nature activity book and I thought this one would be a nice um, change of pace so the kids can actually be doing hands-on work instead of just listening to me um, so there's lots of different activities in here and they can learn about different plants and animals along the way and there's even some stickers at the back that they can use. Yep, so there's that one. And then our next nature book um, is the Osborne Woodland book. And I think I'll actually keep this one for fall. But it's really beautiful. And for Osborne... We're kind of picky about the books we like from Osborne, but we do like their nature ones. And some of them have too much text, but we like to use them as reference books. Um, so we can just point things out. We don't have to read it all in one sitting. And then we have Osborne's Lift the Flap Nature. So this is another great interactive book 
to keep little kids' hands busy while they're learning. They can learn about the different seasons, baby animals, how flowers grow, what's in a pond. In the garden, you can find lots of different insects in the garden and bugs. So yeah, so that's our last purchase that we made. And if you guys enjoyed seeing this homeschool haul and you guys want to see more homeschool hauls in the future, be sure to let me know below and be sure to like this video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more homeschool videos in the future. And remember to push that little bell below to be notified when new videos are up. Alright, have a great one everyone.